the new tailgating policies have stirred up a lot of discussion on campus. It's the last day to withdraw from classes here at UGA. Find out some things you probably didn't know about the process. Some students here at Brumby Hall are going to have to move to different dorms for the rest of the semester. Find out why next on UGA News Source. The University of Georgia, more than 30,000 students, award-winning professors, groundbreaking research, world-class music, arts, and cultural programs, unparalleled community service. And now, a Grady College produced news program devoted exclusively to the University of Georgia. This is UGA News Source. Not doing well in your class? Well, today is your final chance to withdraw. I'm Eric Bowman. While one residence hall is repairing recent damages, some students find themselves without a bed to sleep in. I'm Amanda Maddox. You're watching UGA News Source. A small fire last week at Brumby Hall has some students finding new temporary homes. UGA News Source's Thomas Wilson joins us via iChat from Brumby Hall. Took so iChat. Take gotcha. Now imagine coming home from a long day of school to come back to your room and finding some of your possessions were damaged. That happened for some Brumby girls here last week. We, I mean, rugs obviously were completely destroyed. It literally just looks like a bunch um, of people dumped a ton of buckets of water onto the floor. Approximately 30 girls were moved out of Brumby Hall last week because of a small fire on the third floor. Water sprinklers leaked into the second floor, causing most of the damage. We were on the floor underneath. We are the room directly below her, so of everyone on our floor, we probably had it the worst. The university has not determined the cause of the fire. The investigation is still pending. Now, Georgia officials said today they are doing everything that they can to help the students, including draining the water from the room down to the ground with these tubes. But students will not be allowed to live here the rest of the semester. They will have to find temporary housing. Meeting with all the affected students. Um, and those students were given options about where they might move um, for the remainder of the semester. So I would say that they've been very helpful. They obviously answer all of our questions. Now the girls are going to have to move to different places they don't know where, but the girls say that they still want to keep in touch and be friends. Obviously there's no way not to, you know, everyone is in the same predicament. Everyone is moving their stuff out and everyone is cleaning up and having to move. In speaking with both sides today, the government of the University of Virginia are providing the girls a free government agent to help file their insurance claims for the girls. They just want to get to some of normalcy with their lives um, and see what happens the rest of the semester for these first year. Reporting from Brumby Hall, Thomas Wilson, UJ News Thanks, Thomas.